Hello and welcome back. Thank you for being here. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channels on YouTube and on Rumble. Give this video a like, it will help more people see it. And check out my newsletter available on Substack. The US dollar's exchange rate has hit its lowest point. Investors are now selling dollars at the fastest rate in the last 12 months as they are betting that the Federal Reserve has already finished interest rate increases and will now start cutting rates next year. Investors think well if the Fed does cut rates next year, then they don't really need to hold as many dollars. As of right now, it does appear that there is a 22% probability of a rate cut in the first quarter of 2024, and the chances actually increased to 41% in May. Analysts are warning us that this may be the beginning of a long-term trend of investors starting to limit their exposure to American dollars. Financial Times is reporting that just this month in November alone, asset managers are on track to sell 1.6% of their dollar holdings. This represents the largest monthly outflow since last November. The data was originally provided to Financial Times by State Street, the custodian of approximately $40 trillion in assets. According to State Street, asset managers continue to make significant sales every single day since the officially released data this month on November the 3rd, to be precise, showed a deteriorating labor market. Bank of New York Mellon, too, the custodian to nearly $50 trillion of assets, is reporting the same trend. Over the past 20 days, Bank of New York Mellon says, the firm's custody clients have been selling dollars at the fastest pace this year, with a preference for buying the Japanese yen, Canadian dollar, and a range of Latin American currencies. Even the euro has strengthened against the dollar because the European Central Bank is still expected to keep increasing interest rates. So the dollar is currently depreciating relative to the euro and relative to Asian currencies. Financial Times is speculating that this may be the start of a long-term trend, of a long-term strategy among investors to limit their holdings of the dollar. I want to remind you that this is happening just a couple of weeks after S&P and Moody's signaled that the United States credit rating isn't in a good standing anymore and may be downgraded soon. These daily sales result in the dollar's worst performance this year. It is true that Jerome Powell said the Fed hasn't even thought about when the time would be right to cut rates, but at the same time, it seems that the 2% target inflation rate may sound good on paper. In reality, the Fed doesn't have very many options and it knows perfectly well that hiking rates one more time would cause unpredictable damage down the road. We hear consistent rhetoric from Fed officials. They say we want to keep rates higher for longer, and that could be one of the reasons why we haven't seen the dollar weaken even more. If investors are somewhat convinced that rates will stay high, they feel more comfortable holding on to their dollars. But as soon as rates decline or start to decline, we're likely to see more sales. Additionally, since inflation numbers trend downward, at least according to the official reading, it means that another unexpected rate hike is likely out of the question, while a rate cut is becoming more and more likely. So there are fewer incentives to keep large amounts of the dollar. The head of the macro strategy at State Street, Michael Metcalf, went as far as to say that outflows in the past two weeks point to a rapid rethink with dollar demand. When an asset sees less demand, its value drops, right? So this is precisely what we're seeing right now. And this is precisely what I've been talking about at length here on my channel for weeks now. There is an undeniable trend in the world that poses a long-term threat to the dollar's role as the reserve currency. The longer the sentiment among investors persists, the more weakness the dollar will show and the more money will shift 
from the dollar to other investment options. And in fact, the dollar is expected to remain relatively weak in 2024 if the US-China relations remain stable. Geopolitical events, as you know, will continue to make a significant impact on the US currency. So with all of that being said, what does this mean for us? When the US dollar becomes weak, it's not necessarily all bad news, even though historically the main goal has been to keep the dollar strong. First of all, a weak dollar means that anything the United States imports will become more expensive. But on the other hand, any items produced here domestically would likely be more competitive on the international market for foreign buyers since exports will become less expensive abroad. When the dollar becomes weaker, the US economy has to respond in one way or another. And historically, a weakening dollar is typically associated with, and this is really bad news, with higher inflation domestically and even the possibility of an economic event, for example, a recession or simply a downturn, which could just be worsening economic conditions in general. Right now, we're seeing the dollar weakening slowly, and the largest U.S. custodians are reporting significant daily outflows, daily sales by large investors. And at the same exact time, the Japanese yen as well as other currencies are strengthening against the dollar. Of course, this is part of a typical cycle, but in this particular case, I think it is important to be able to tell what's a trend, versus a short-term movement. So I will leave you with that. Thank you for joining me today for this quick video. I hope that it was helpful and I hope that I shared some interesting facts with you. Please show your support, give this video a like, share and subscribe to my channels on Rumble and YouTube. You will find all of my social links in the description below. Follow me on Substack for more content and have a great rest of your day. I will see you in my new video tomorrow. Take care.